so for the next 10 years, let's say, um, car sales, it's a very good business. One billion more cars in the coming decades. This would be a disaster. It's totally useless to have a car. You cannot go anywhere. You are stuck in the middle of a traffic jam. The car industry wanted Los Angeles really badly. General Motors, through some shell companies, bought the bus lines. They slowly took over the mass transit system and eliminated it. Cyclists are pain in the ass to workers. Ladies and gentlemen, the war on the car stops today. This was all protesters could do to try and stop the removal of the Jarvis bike lanes doing everything they could to block the machine that scrubbed away the bike lane markings. Roads are built for buses, cars, and trucks, not for people on bikes. And what I compare bike lanes to is swimming with the sharks. Sooner or later, you're gonna get bitten, but it's their own fault at the end of the day. Ghost Bike é uma marca de que de que existe uma pessoa que uma pessoa foi morta, foi assassinada. É triste que isso ainda aconteça. Isso aqui não é uma guerra, isso aqui é uma cidade. As pessoas têm que conviver em paz. We need to stop increasing capacity for cars. Uh, I would like to see fewer lanes for cars. I love bicycles and I hate to drive, so I really shouldn't be living in L.A. <laughs> I don't hate cars. I mean, I like, I like a road trip as much as anybody. Unobstructed ride, shot like an arrow, you know, speeding around curves. That's the way you feel on a bicycle these days, not in a car. It may be the way the car advertisements want to make you feel. In Copenhagen, we have an estimate of 40% of all citizens commuting to and from work on bikes. Uh, they even want to increase the number so they can get more people to, to ride the bikes. It's possible to have a cyclable city. It's possible to have a city of São Paulo parecida with Copenhagen. That life can be better, can be more simple. 